I mentioned in the task video a special type of note that can help you manage potential work without cluttering your task lists or causing undue stress. I call these notes prototasks. A prototask is potential future work that you've captured but haven't scheduled for completion. It's like an unscheduled task, something you might want or need to do at some point, but you aren't ready to commit to a specific date yet. If you've ever found yourself constantly rescheduling the same task day after day or feeling overwhelmed by a growing list of to-dos, prototasks can help. Instead of letting these potential tasks pile up and create a sense of urgency, you can capture them as prototasks and review them on a more relaxed schedule. The key to making prototasks work is setting up regular reviews. Unlike tasks which are scheduled for a specific date, I surface prototasks based on when I originally captured them. This way prototasks gradually fade over time as they move away from the day that they were captured, rather than feeling more and more critical because they're piling up. When working with prototasks, I follow a few simple rules. If I've rescheduled a task five times or more, I demote it to a prototask. This helps me distinguish between truly urgent tasks and those that can wait. I only promote a prototask to a task when I'm truly committed to completing it. This helps me avoid overloading my task list with maybes. If I'm not sure I want to do something, I default to capturing it as a prototask. That way I don't lose the idea, but I also don't clutter my schedule with uncertain commitments, things that aren't really tasks. The big takeaway here is that not all potential work needs to be done right away or even really at all. Prototasks give, it, give us a way to manage these possibilities without letting them overwhelm us or create false urgency. Mastering your work is as much about what you choose not to do as it is about what you choose to do. Prototasks are a tool to help you make those choices more intentionally. If you want to learn more about this and other productivity strategies, check out my book, The Rhythms of Productivity, available on Amazon.